Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog. My hair is freshly cleaned. So I feel like new vlog, new hair, had to happen. <laughs> I feel like it kind of needs to settle a little bit. When I first curl it, it all wants to kind of stick together and be not quite what I want it to be. But you see, this is all like becoming one curl. I gotta mess it up a bit. I really should have started vlogging yesterday because I went into town and I did some shopping and wandering around and stuff. Um, but I was such a greasy slug. Slugs don't get greasy, do they? My hair was filthy. Like I had one of those weeks where for two days in a row, I was like, I really need to wash my hair today. And then I just didn't. And then the same thing happened the second day. And today was finally the day I'm clean. Um, yeah, it was very, very much overdue. Kind of feel like we're back to regular scheduling, regular scheduled programming over here. Ken was actually away. Where is the light? There. Ken was actually away for business last week in San Francisco. So I was on my own in Amsterdam, which was a bit of a weird feeling. Like we don't have any family here, no family anywhere near us. Obviously we have a few friends here, but I was thinking like if anything happens to me and I end up in hospital, Mo was my emergency contact. I know he'd be there in a second if I needed him, but that's where my mind goes. I'm like, what if I break something? So if I crash on my bike, who's gonna be there to help me? <laughs> so yeah, I'm feeling back to normal again now that Ken's home. Although he's not really feeling normal. He's still quite jet lagged, but um, what day is it today? Today's Tuesday. Just about to make myself some lunch. We had salmon, salad, and cauliflower rice mixed with regular rice for dinner last night. Um, just because I had regular rice left over from ordering Indian a few days before that maybe. And I like to use up what I have, so it turned into this. We had lots of leftovers, so I'm going to have some of that for lunch. We had lots of green onions left over, so I'm going to add that to both the cauliflower rice and my salad. And I think I have one of these guys as well. Um, I always try to keep some sort of protein in the fridge for my lunches. Obviously Ken's not here for lunches. For me, I try to get greens and a protein in a lunch, but if there's leftovers from takeaway or something, then I'll just have that. But I'm gonna try these ones. These are the hamburger veggie chef, veggie burgers basically. Just gonna warm that up in a pan. Sometimes I like break them up and stuff too and add them on top of salads. Um, and rocket, I think this is, rucola. I had a fun spontaneous day in town yesterday. Um, we've been having a lot of rain here. So I saw on my weather app that there wasn't gonna be rain for about a two hour gap in the afternoon. So I thought I better get out because <laughs> it's probably just gonna rain for a whole nother week after this. So I didn't even think to vlog. Plus I was like super grease ball. So I wasn't really feeling like putting the camera in my face, but I ended up going into town. I went to Primark and I got some boots. I always like to have a pair of these. I know these are like a love-hate thing for people. Some people love them, some people hate them. For me, they're not fashion, but I love to have a pair for the winter. These guys, they're just my fake Uggs. I think they were eight euros, so they're quite the bargain, and they're quite hefty for uh, eight euros, so I was happy with that. And I get good use out of them, so that's ready for the season. And I picked up a few other things, like socks, um, just boring stuff. And then on the way home, I took a detour. Sometimes I do this if I have time and it, the weather was like beautiful. So I decided to kind of zigzag my way home. Am I still recording? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just kind of zigzag through all the little streets that I haven't seen yet, see new canals and whatnot. Um, it was like the most perfect fall day. The leaves were crunching, sun was out, but it was like crisp and smelt so good. Um, so I just kind of zigzagged all the way home and I ended up going down, <laughs> turning down a red light strip and as I turned the corner I came like face to face eye to eye with this guy that was just coming out of one of the girls rooms red light rooms he could see his face like immediately he was like oh <laughs> trying to hide his face from me basically I was like oh my god I know what just happened there Ooh. but yeah, he like said goodbye to the girl and another guy went in right after him. There was probably like 10 more girls with their lights on down that little alleyway there, but um, she was the hot commodity, I guess, because there was another guy waiting in line, basically. So that was interesting. <laughs> that was yesterday. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. And then I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get something for dinner tonight, as I do pretty much every day. <laughs> okay, lunch coming together. This is the cauliflower rice, so it's half packaged, actually it's this one. Sometimes I make my own, but sometimes I just buy this stuff because it's actually like the same price, sometimes cheaper. 
So, uh, yeah, love that. And then some leftover Indian rice, so there's nice flavor and a little bit of oil already in it. Just heating that up in a pan because we don't have our microwave. This is what the, um, the veggie burgers look like. They look pretty good in my opinion. I don't know how healthy this is for you, but it's going to fill me. Oh, I'm shaking like crazy. Whoa, that is hunger shakes. I think I'm just gonna crumble it up and warm it up in the pan after the rice here and put it on my salad. So I just did half a yellow pepper, lots of the rucola because it's just about to go off. Some cubes of cheese, they come cubed up like this. I didn't actually take the time to make them look pretty like that. And then I'm gonna add some of the green onion on top of everything. together on one plate it looks like a lot of food but um, this is all salad which basically does nothing for filling me and this is half veggie as well so I'll have no problem eating all this <laughs> fun fact my now brother-in-law used to actually call me the human garbage disposal human garbage disposal when we were younger because I would go over to their place and like eat a ridiculous amount of pizza and then still be hungry and eat everything that they had available he would just say, where the heck are you putting all this food? Like every time you're over, you can eat an incredible amount of food. I can. I try not to though, but I, I have this ability to eat a lot more food than I probably should. <laughs> well, I finished that in about 2.5 seconds as I predicted, but I feel much better now. I'm curious to know, I saw this on Instagram the other day. Can you hear that rain? I was just thinking I'll go and get my groceries. But the weather app has done me wrong again. Just started pouring. Good thing I didn't go. I'm curious. Do you guys wash your dishes before they go into the dishwasher? Or do you not? Do you think that's the job of the dishwasher? <laughs> People are very adamant about which way they are. We are definitely rinsers always, especially me. One reason is because this is the first place we've ever had a dishwasher in, so we're just used to hand washing things. So I find myself washing a lot of things by hand or things that don't really need a really good scrub, just doing them by hand. But like dinner plates and stuff, we'll rinse and then put in the dishwasher. But it's also just the two of us, so we don't really produce many dirty dishes. So we run it probably, I would say maybe once a week we run our dishwasher. But I'm also very aware of not creating too many dishes too. So I'll try to like reuse things utensils and whatnot. If I have dinner earlier than Ken, then he'll reuse my plate for his dinner, that kind of thing. And I don't know if you saw this in one of the other clips, but there is a dirty coffee spoon here. I probably have two or three coffees, third one being a decaf every day, but, and I use sweetener in it, so I want to stir it up, but I don't want to use a spoon every time I make a coffee, so I just leave that spoon. <laughs> probably use it for a good few days before it ends up in the dishwasher. So that's what we do. What do you do? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have bothered to wash and curl my hair today. Well, wash definitely, but I probably shouldn't have curled it. <laughs> rain, rain, rain. The rain wouldn't matter so much if we were at home because you just hop into your car in your garage and then you walk from your car to the shop, which it's not very far. But here, we walk everywhere, we bike everywhere. I walk to the grocery store, we walk to the tram, we walk to local restaurants and bars, or you hop on your bike. So, which gets you even more wet because then you're racing into the rain. You do kind of heavily rely on these weather apps to let you know uh, when you can go out without getting soaked and, you know, soaked to your undies. <laughs> it's not looking good, guys. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I put my scarf on because I was feeling like a bowl of oatmeal with my neutral shirt, plain face, blonde hair. I added a scarf. It's kind of cold in here too, so works out. Eating a snack. Still hungry. <laughs> I shouldn't have bought these things because they're like crack, but I've eaten almost this whole bag to myself in the last couple days. They're basically like little ginger snaps. We all know I love ginger. <laughs> Covered in white chocolate. Can't stop. I'm just sitting here watching the weather app. It's very speckled looking. 
Can you see that? That's Amsterdam in there, and this is all rain clouds, so we're gonna get wet today. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Sunshine. <laughs> Thought I'd show you quickly what I'm wearing for today, even though you've seen most of it. <clears throat> you've seen this skirt quite a few times, I think. I thrifted this back home, oh God, quite a while ago. It's a little on the tight side, so I kind of use this for measuring on uh, if I'm gaining or losing weight. Right now it's a little tight. <laughs> and then this tan shirt that I got off ASOS not too long ago, I just wanted like a simple brown kind of shirt for fall. Got this scarf yesterday, I love it, super soft. It's a bit on the short side. It's not quite as long as a lot of others that I have, but I like it just kind of thrown over one shoulder. And then I've got my white Western boots from ASOS that I got for my birthday from myself. And then, and then I'm just gonna throw my big oversized blazer coats, originally from Zara, but again, it was thrifted when we were living just outside of Paris, thrifted from Paris. That's what I'm trying to say. And I love the hair tucked look. Um, I know it feels weird and a lot of people have like, you wanna pull it out of here, but I quite like the way it looks, just kind of undone and um, effortless, the way it looks tucked in. And it's gonna save my hair from the rain. It will likely get caught in a rainstorm at some point here. <laughs> and then if I really wanted to jazz it up, I could add my ivory hat. I feel like I wear this way too much. All neutrals, ready for fall, boots, hat, coat. It's actually not even that cold out, but <laughs> I want to dress for fall, so this is it. by this corridor all the time and I've always wondered what's through here so I see tour groups going in here quite often oh oh wow it's like a secret little garden it's so pretty where does it go? Huh. So cute, so quiet. Probably shouldn't hang out in here though. These, these are people's front yards, <laughs> front doors. Hmm. Cool. Should look up the history behind this one. nice front yard. Cool. Now I know we have a little spot to take photos in one day. <laughs> Pigeon's eating bread. Found himself some lunch, buddy. Well, that was a fun little detour. Glad I caught that on the vlog. And I just felt more rain, so we're gonna pick up the pace. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop under this awning here for a few minutes.
actually started to get worse after that last clip before you died. Camera died while I was out. So I ran across the street to the drugstore and picked up a few things that I needed there and then it got even worse. So myself and a few others and one cat <laughs> hid under an awning for a few minutes for it to pass. The good thing about the rain here is that it is very patchy. Like it'd be blue sky, like it is right now, it's back to blue skies. And the next second it's like downpour, like torrential downpour. But then five minutes later it's done again, clear. So. As long as you have a place to hide, the rain isn't really too terrible here. Whereas at home, when it starts raining, it rains for like five days straight and then you have nice weather for a few days and then it rains for another four days. So it's very, very on off, on off, on off here. You can make it harder or easier depending on how you look at it. <laughs> so this is everything I picked up at the grocery shop today. Stuff for dinner, lunches, and a few restocks. So I got us a cucumber, that'll be for dinner tonight. Gonna have salad, and this is all just like chopped veg. I'm gonna use that for lunches probably in the next couple days. Can of tuna, I always have at least, well, I would say probably one can of tuna a week. Frozen uh, raspberries. <clears throat> I eat these like candy in the evening. They taste like uh, nature's candy, so those are good. Activia, one of you genius people reminded me that even though, like for people that have sensitivity to gluten and dairy sensitivities, often when you come over to Europe, you don't have as many problems, just because everything's a little bit more cleaner made and um, doesn't have as much junk in it. And it's just more simple ingredients. So this one's actually made in the Netherlands. So I'm, I'm gonna try this out and see how my stomach likes it. I love the lactose-free one from home. I've never tried the full dairy ones at home though. So uh, I'm gonna be the guinea, pi guinea pig for this and see how this goes. I hope I'll like them because this for me could be like a dessert in the evening with some raspberries. There's quite a lot of sugar in it anyways. They're not really like super healthy. There's some sugar, but um, tasty little suckers. So I'm hoping that works out. If not, Ken will eat them. Cherry tomatoes, some sweetener. I usually put a little bit of this in my coffee. Chicken breast for tonight. I'll open this up and then freeze the other two for another night. Stocked up on my cotton pads. These are actually awesome for the price. The ones at home, well I guess the premium ones at home are about as good as these, but they cost more. And then a new shampoo and conditioner. These are just the standard ones I keep going for. I don't know. I don't really feel like translating all the stuff on the back to see what's in all of it. It's just shampoo and conditioner for me. So yeah, that's all I got today. Nothing too crazy there. I'm just gonna get the chicken into the fridge and freezer. And maybe try out one of these. Oh. <laughs> I ain't even gotten dressed yet. Let me put some real clothes on for you for once. I'm always vlogging in a friggin' robe. I do wear real clothes sometimes. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Simple white t shirt and Levi's jeans. The best part being that little tag there and the little red flap. Oh, I'm a sucker for it. <laughs> so we have made it to Friday. It's Friday, which means it's the weekend. It's gin day. Also dragged in a nice little surprise. Look who's here. My addiction. <laughs> it's actually one item that I got in two sizes. I do that all the time because it's so ridiculously easy to return stuff to ASOS that if I'm unsure, I'll just buy like three sizes. My regular and then one up and one down and then I'm sure to get what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna open that up, try it with you. My eyebrows look a little bit crazy. It's because I just tinted them this morning. If you wanna see how I do this, my eyebrows are definitely not naturally this color. They're basically see-through, see translucent, no color to them whatsoever. But if they're tinted, it literally takes me no time at all to fill them in when I'm doing my makeup. Makeup? But um, they're a bit dark and crazy looking for the first day or so. Till I wash my face tonight, they'll be a little bit too dark. If you're wondering why I look like a beast. <laughs> um, but if you're curious to see how I do this, I actually have a video that I filmed while we were back at home. Um, step by step exactly how to use the product. And I can link the product as well because it's pretty widely available on Amazon and ASOS. And I did the exact same steps as I normally do. Same as in the video. The only thing I did different this time is that I double tinted. Apparently, if you do the process twice over, back to back, it holds the tint a little bit better. So I'm testing that theory out this week. Let's see. I'd say normally it lasts me maybe three weeks, four weeks, depending on how much I'm scrubbing my face. But yeah, hopefully it'll last me a little bit longer. We'll see. What else did I have to say? 
Okay, that's all. Who cares? Let's get on to the Azos. <laughs> Don't know where to put you. The light's coming in from everywhere, which is a good problem, but not so good for cameras. Very challenged today. Okay, this is gonna work. Let's open up this sucker. Feels nice and squishy and cozy. So if you've been following trends lately, you'll know exactly what this is. It's the big, the, they call it the dad sweater right now, I think. The real one, like the best one, I think is from North Face. They have a really nice one. Patagonia, I think, also has a really cool one. Those ones are also much more expensive, so I thought I would give these ones a go. I'll have these linked down below if you're interested because they're considerably less than, I think, than the originals. This looks pretty good though. I think the small is gonna be too small. Let's try it. I want it like a big oversized boyfriend dad fit basically. So if it's tight anywhere, ooh, it's a nice fleece line too. This is cozy. Oh yeah. I like the big pocket. I like the little pop of red on the zipper here as well. Let's do that down there in the bosoms. really cozy and warm. It's the exact texture that I like. A lot of them have like kind of a nasty, almost like a sticky texture. It's like really cheap feeling. Um, so I wasn't sure what was going to come of this one, but it's really good. My only worry is that it's a little bit too short. I kind of want something a little bit longer. So the medium, maybe not. I like it with these jeans. Let's try the medium. <laughs> it has a nice feel to it, you know? Like it has a jiggle factor, <laughs> which normally we wouldn't want on our body, but with this, I love. Yeah, so the medium, as you would expect, is just a little bit bigger everywhere. I didn't want it bigger through the body or the arms, but I just wanted a little extra length. The seam on the shoulder definitely comes down a little bit lower on me. I don't generally wear mediums, but for this style, I kind of wanted it like a men's fit. I think I like the small better though. Hmm, it's nice. I like it a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was exciting. A good find. All right, I think that's all I've got for you guys this week. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I've already started editing it. I'm gonna figure out which sweater I want, pack up the other one, head over to the grocery store, probably get a bottle of wine. Oh no, I have gin. I think I'll do gin tonight. And return one of these two sweaters. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and check out my blog. Like I said in my last video, I'm trying to bring it back from the dead posting some more things over there and of course Instagram Instagram <laughs> I love it and I hate it um, it's just at Andrea Claire but the first A there's two A's in there so don't forget that second A and thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it so much and thank you to everyone that commented on my last video uh, like I said I was super nervous to put that one up it was basically reading you my journal <laughs> my like tipsy wine journal and it went over really well like way better than I thought it was going to I don't think there was eh, one or two nasty comments which isn't too bad I'll take it uh, so thank you very much for everyone that commented um, lots of people came over to Instagram and we chatted about our experiences being abroad and everything so if you don't watch that video already make sure you give it a watch I'll link it down below as well um, I think it's worth a watch so yes long story short thank you <laughs> And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.